Try to cut our way in here. There we go. There we go. That's a good look. Now we can kind of see everything going on. What's up, everybody, and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. I need to make sure I'm actually recording. Yes, we are. Okay. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here back on a set of Corsa staring down a beautiful FDRX7 with usual suspects delivery from the usual suspects. So, today we're going to talk about a view that has been a big controversy on my channel for a very long time and that is third person so a set of corsa is very amazing in first person with real head motion and all that and i've loved driving it every every since i got into it so but i get I've been getting a lot of comments about wanting external views to be able to see more to make basically the videos more visual appealing and this is a discussion that's been going on on my channel for many many months about why i use the wheel in third person in forza well it it looks more visually appealing for you guys and see what, a little pop the fire it looked more visually appealing for you guys to be able to see the entire car and everything around it cars chasing me and stuff like that when I'm in the cockpit view with a set of Corsa you can't really see people behind me you can't see how close people are getting to me you know it's it's hard for me you know to show you guys how close without going to external camera view during a replay but then it's not in the moment so you know it, it it takes away from the in the moment experience of being able to see how close they are to me. So that's always why I was in third person with this in Forza. So set of Corsa, third person view. Something that always bothered me is how static it was. Well, I found some new view options in Content Manager that I didn't know were there that I think is going to make it that much better. And when I say static and why it bothered me so much is we're at Manami and we are in these real substances. FDRX7. So we're gonna go drift in third person right now. And I'll explain what I mean. And by static, I mean as you, the car pretty much stays and the world just moves around it. And to me, it just feels weird. It doesn't feel visually, I mean, it's more visually appealing because you can see everything, but it's a little weird that it's just static to me. And I don't like how the static feel of it to me I would prefer some sort of movement I mean it's definitely a lot cooler to see the whole car and all the you know backfires and all the aspects that are put into this car like the license plate usual suspects brake light and you know the taillights and stuff like that and it's just you can see how closely I get to walls and stuff like that we're gonna take Manama and jump drift here Not as close as I want. Oh, and I kind of biffed that a little bit. So, it annoyed me that it was so static. So, but I did find some options that uh, I kind of want to show you guys. If you guys knew about this and, you know, just never said anything, you know, shame on you. You should have said something to me. But for everybody that wants more external views, this is a way for you to get it on the channel now because I feel like it's going to be so much more visually appealing for you guys to see it all. So, under settings under chase cam but first if you go to a set of course so you go to chase camera you can adjust how far back and stuff like that you want the chase camera for the first and the second but what makes the chase camera that much better is when you install the custom shader patch and you go down to the chase camera option and you hit activate and you make sure it's on basic now this is with you know xbox joystick moving for all that but what i found out is when you actually are using said option in chase camera it actually if you notice how it's already rotating on me the camera moves and pivots which actually looks very awesome when you're driving and it gives you a bit of a different perspective you can kind of see like the side of the car it kind of points to where you're going it's kind of like real head motion in third person but you don't have to have real head motion installed or turned on 
because I don't have my real head motion turned on. It's just the custom shader patch, which is actually in Content Manager. So I feel like it's more visually stunning to see this in this view because you can like see the side of the car and if somebody is door diving on me we would see you know them right there and it's not as static it kind of has more of a floating view kind of like Forza did and stuff like that and I feel like it just it gives the game that much more of a visual a feel because you can see the cars now and all the details and everything in the liveries and stuff like that oh and when you spin out that happens we got to get this jump shift right but like I said it's if you can see it looks that much more nicer to be able to see it like this than just a static camera little clutch kick and you know it's so sweet to be able to see the driver inside you know with the full 900 degrees in his hands and stuff like that on like a Forza but I feel like this view may have just changed my perspective on third person views in Seto because, well, I think you guys are going to enjoy this view set better for videos, being able to see the whole car, all the backfires and everything like that, rather than just the in-car, you know, head motion of the dash. So let me know what you guys think about this view down in the comments. Do you guys like to be able to see the, more of the car and kind of see where you know my bumpers are, where the back end is, how close they am to walls? And especially when you get into tandems, it's going to be so much nicer to see. You'll be able to see how close I am to people. You'll be able to see how close they are to me. It, it's just going to be so much better. So I'm definitely going to be getting some of the team on and uh, throw some tandems with them and you know see what kind of doors we can get. Maybe jump into some public lobbies. I do finally have my server set up so if you guys are ever online and you see evil rabbit you know the evil rabbit server and you see me on hop in nine times out of ten it's going to be unlocked and i'm just going to be thrashing some tandems with anybody who wants to come in i gotta get closer to that wall last famous words i know oh that's what happens when you don't put the clutch in all the way and you try to bang in a second you kind of miss shift so like I said, let me know what you guys think of the view. Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Do you want to see more videos like this in this view? Because it take, it's going to take a few to get used to driving in this view, for sure. Um, I'm pretty sure I could do driving in my normal view, but just show this view with my wheel cams overlaid and stuff like that. It would take a little bit more effort into you know editing the video and stuff like that, but if, it, if you guys would prefer to see this type of view here, then of course I will and I know this has been a huge debate and a huge argument on the channel for a very long time about driving in third person with a wheel and I you know I've stated before it's more you know more visually appealing for you guys to see everything in the world in third person than it would be for you guys just to see you know the in-car now the in-car is amazing I do love you know the in-car with the head motion and when the oculus rift comes the Oculus Rift S, that's going to be all-time VR headset, you know, content and stuff like that. But that's a whole nother degree and caliber of content that you guys are going to get with the VR. You know, it might not be all the time, but, you know, the VR content will definitely be hitting the channel. And, you know, that's going to be just a whole new immersion. And I'm just having so much fun in this usual Suspects FD. Just ripping here in Maname. Doing the jump drift, trying to get closer and closer to the wall with every single jump. Try to run this out wider. There we go. I love how this car handles. I got into a session with uh, some of the usual suspects guys, and they threw this car in there, and I just jumped into it and instantly fell in love with how the car is and how it reacts and drives. It's just an amazing sounding and looking car. And I feel like being in the outside view, being able to see the livery and all the backfires and everything like that makes it that much better. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are in the description box below. And I know this is going to be a huge discussion on the channel, but I want to see 
what you guys think and I want to get your take on it because honestly I'm having a little bit more fun in this view than I thought I was going to just being able to see everything see the world and just have a different perspective like I said we're gonna have to definitely uh, get some tandems with some guys and uh, see how that works I feel like we can go grab some tandems in a random lobby if I can go find a random lobby probably with the tando buddies cars but we'll be able to gauge and see exactly what it looks like so let's go do that let's go find a session see if we can not find a random lobby to get some tandems with to try, test out this view in tandem aspect so I'll find you guys back here once I find a lobby all right, so we are loading into a Tando Buddy car pack at Drift Playground. I know Tando Buddy's cars are very easy to drive, but it's a session I found with a lot of people. So we're going to drop our tires a little bit. We're just going to go drive. See if we can't find our way into some tandems. I won't worry if somebody tries to chase me because we'll be able to check the chase aspect of it. Waiting for some cars to rip by us. It was just one car. Here we go. Let's try and throw ourselves in. And it already looks kind of so much cooler. Being able to see the whole car. And there's just more you can see. I gotta catch up with this guy. And, you know, I'm slowly already getting used to this view, and it's not bothering me too much like I thought it was going to. It is a different perspective, and you gotta, you know, think about it a little bit. But, I think we're good. We need somebody to either get on our door, or we need to get on the door of somebody. Ooh, cutting the grass. See if we can straight line this. Throw ourselves in. There we go. Oh, he biffed it into the door, into the wall. I'm gonna wait for somebody else to catch up because I want to really test this tandem. Let these guys pass. See if we can't maybe throw with these guys. Not really drifting. There we go. But as you can see, there's more to be seen. You can kind of see how much closer I am to the cars. I can kind of see how much closer I am to the cars, and apparently this E46 wants to get in. We're gonna slow down a little bit. He kind of bogged out. So the the problem with random lobbies is you get all different kinds of calibers of drivers. Some drivers that are super smooth, some drivers that are not. Try to cut our way in here. There we go. There we go. That's a good look. Now we can kind of see everything going on. We got a guy right behind us. This guy in front of us throwing doors. So I feel like, oh, I feel like this view is definitely going to make the content so much better to see so if you guys want to keep seeing us at a course on the channel like this let me know down in the comments and I know this is going to be you know an, a discussion and an argument on the channel like it's been for a very very long time with wheel versus third person but this just looks so much nicer being able to see the whole car and everything on those lines it's to me it looks better turn our lights on So, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I appreciate all the support. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, which are found in the description box below. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm People Rabbit, and I'll see you guys on the track. And just to also to remind you guys, the server is set up. So if you guys do find my server open, it's not always open. If you do find the server open, that's because I'm online, getting doors, or throwing my session up to drive with people. So if you find the Evil Rabbit, you can just search evl rabbit and you'll be able to find the server if it's up and if you do find it and it's up make sure you flag that server as a favorite so next time it's up you can just go to your favorites and find it real quick 
So as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Ruffing!